Hello, I'm Ritz Blues. You may remember me from such games as Sylvester and Tweety and KG Capers. Um, for this uh, submission, I'm, I'm going to do a run of Untitled Goose Game 100%, which means that I will be doing all of the main tasks, all of the hidden tasks, all of the speedrun tasks, and will collect the crown at the end of the game. So the run starts as soon as I press honk. And I'll be pressing a lot of honk. So right off the bat, we're going to start the run off with a little trick uh, that is very common in the game. It's a, a, a clip or a running clip where we use objects to pass through barriers that are fairly thin like gates and uh, pass right through. So now we're in the first area, gardens, and this is a very good setup because Wet Willy! We call the groundskeeper Willy because, well, I mean, this is Britain. He's listening to Bad Pike music on his uh, radio here. And, you know, groundskeeper Willy. So, anyway, as uh, you may know, the point of the game is to wreak a lot of havoc while you uh, complete various objectives in a very Hitman-esque style while sneaking around this township. I guess he's going to fix the bags again. Anyway, um, so... The optimal route of the game means, since we're doing pretty much everything it has to offer, we want to try and stack as many objectives as possible uh, together. So things that go well together uh, are obviously what we're going to try and do, like stealing the groundskeeper's keys, that's a main objective. Locking them out of the garden is a little bit trickier, like a little. Um, and so we do those like side by side. Each of the four areas has a collect-a-thon as well that we have to do, and that's going to take up the bulk of time and also be the biggest uh, potential run killer or time loss if we run into any issues collecting the items we need for these. Because NPCs that see you stealing from them will follow you until they get their items back or they lose you. And if they see where you hide them, then they'll gradually go and collect everything from there. So we definitely don't want Willy to find any of the stuff we steal from his garden. So for our picnic, we've got our pumpkin. We also need to grab these two cylinders here, this jar of jam. We'll hide that there for now. I'll come back for it in a minute. But we'll also, while he's distracted, grab that thermos. I don't know how the goose is holding it, because that is a huge metal cylinder. And he's just got a tiny little beak. I mean, he's like... The bite strength on this goose must be insane. All right, so we've gotten three out of the four items we need from inside the garden. We also need the uh, the jar, as I had mentioned before. So we'll sneak out this way so he won't see me. And I'm also going to need a carrot. But I'm going to wait on the carrot for a minute and take care of a few other objectives first. So we were fortunate at the very beginning to get a uh, good RNG where Willie was right in front of the sprinkler. So I don't have to get him wet this time. Uh, but I do still need to steal his hat. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to get this over here. And I'm going to set the tulip aside just far enough to give me a little time to start moving this. Now, no picnic is complete without a lovely fresh green cabbage. Let's see if we can grab that. Oh, nope. Here, you can have your hat back. And we'll try this again. Here, come on. You can take that. Come on back. We'll try this again, but this time he's not going to notice. Like so. Alright. But, Willie, he's a he's a conscious groundskeeper, and Melanoma's a killer, so without his hat, his poor chrome dome needs some kind of protection, so we're going to make him wear his sun hat. Except, uh... Hopefully he doesn't mess this up for me. Go get your sun hat, Willie. Alright, cool. You can do that. 
Okay, cool. He's going for the sun hat. That's all I care. Is that he doesn't go for the cabbage. Because I don't want him to get this cabbage. It's hard enough to kick it around the first time. I don't have to... I don't want to have to redo it a second time. Alright. So now we have the arduous task of trying to navigate a not quite spherical cabbage to the picnic blanket and I made that look kind of easy it's not now we put the rake in the lake thank you donkey and so now we just need to find and we've unlocked the last task which is to hammer uh, get the groundskeeper to hammer his thumb that should be pretty easy to do want to keep that hat hidden we don't want him to see it we're already going to start working on tasks in the next area by stealing this little spade here. Spade, trowel, I'm not really sure exactly what it is, but I'm stealing it. All right, so we popped over. Now we're going to get Willie to follow us all the way to the high street market, like so. Uh-uh, yeah, see, that's like the threshold. I don't want him to lose sight of his goal here, which is to catch the spade before I sell it. After all, Goose has got to make a living. And that's bad. Which we'll fix like so. Hopefully I can fix that. There we go. That should do the trick. Putting the spade up there, that'll get him to buy it. And we'll just get the shopkeeper out of my way here. And we'll take care of this in the meantime. Now she's going to forego all the rest of trying to get rid of me in the name of good capitalism. So we're going to overload the scales there. And now we got to have our first interaction with the wimp. What the? Put your glasses on. Now run! Run, boy, run! And don't, don't trip in the... Oops. That's okay. We actually wanted it, that to happen. All right, so we get our first reset of the run now. Hey, Phil. Welcome to the stream. We get our first uh, reset of the run here, and that's going to reset the church bells, which would have gone off at the seven-minute mark. So, so now we get to set our uh, our start our next speed run here of High Street, and things go pretty quick. We're going to lock the kid in the box. We're going to do a little bit of kleptomania here, which is good. We'll get away scot-free. Drag this umbrella here for now while we wait for the TV shop owner to move out. Grab those glasses right there. Perfect theft, perfect crime. Yeah, yeah, Shoo Shoo is right. Nop, save the kid. Uh-uh, don't shoo me away. Go save the kid. Now you're wasting my time. There we go. So now that the kid has been saved, we're going to take those awful Coke bottle glasses off of them and give them a nice stylish pair of frames there. Free of charge for uh, the cost of one airplane here. Oh, ha! Because I broke the broom earlier, um, it set off her to-do list task early. But that's okay. She's still going to go for the same thing, which is stomp her foot, go open the uh, garage door there. The foot stomp came a little early, but otherwise we're good. Oh, nice. Early toothbrush. So while she's opening the garage and getting a piece of chalk to write a message to me, I'm going to do a little shopping. Oh, I love the kid's placement. It's a shame I have to grab this basket first. Just keep him distracted there. Hello, kid. Yeah, start moving them legs. Cool. So while he's buying that plane, we're going to obey capitalism. Must ignore goose to sell plane to child. I don't even know where I had that plane, but it's clearly mine! Alright, shopping's done. 
We're gonna get the kid out of here. And we locked them both in the garage at the same time to save a little time. We're gonna need that leak that she dropped though, so we're gonna save that for here. Phil, how do you clip through? Is it only the bottle? Can you do that clip with the, the leak? Like the, the, the clip out of that garage? It would be very nice to know that. Anyway. So we're going to use this leak to get to the um, back gardens a little bit earlier. Yeah, but like I can't like attract the uh, shopkeeper with the boot. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so I'm just not going to do it in Hundo. So that's our second reset. Now we're going to head to the back gardens. A yep, little slow on the draw. So we got newspaper cycle. So for newspaper cycle, we want to steal his slipper and his newspaper. Not his tea, his newspaper, please. Not, not, not the pipe, the newspaper, please. Not the cup, the newspaper. All right, here we go. Let's go, Willie. Let's get your steps in for the day. Fantastic. Yep, you come on over here. Yep. All right, so now you get confused about that, and I'm going to go pilfer me a pipe. So we're going to clip two out of the three items we need to steal through... Whoops. Well then, that's okay. We will uh, improvise at this point. It'll be okay. We'll just cross over like so. No big deal. Except for if he sees the sock, hopefully he won't. But if I play my cards right, he won't even notice. We also definitely want him to find his teacup. That's important. And now, while he runs across there, I escape with the glasses no problem. And he'll hopefully never notice the sock. Great, and he got his teacup. It's like a dream came true. I don't care that you saw the hat. The teacup's where I want it, so we'll move on from there. Okay, so now we got everything in place. We got a good possibility of catching Roger during a tea cycle. What did that ribbon do? Did you see that? It moved as if possessed by a ghost. Anyway. So we're going to wait for Tina to dress up that. She's going to notice that the gate is open. You saw it too, didn't you, Phil? It just like scooched right on over like, what's up? I don't know. Maybe I had a little soap on it and it was just slipping along the edge like that. Regardless, it's almost tea time. But first, a little remodeling here. Lovely, lovely spray. Very good. Good form. And now to make a clean getaway. Okay. This ribbon's nice and all, but it's weighing me down, so we're going to get rid of it for now. While they fight. I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping. Drag that right about there. And we'll work on some laundry. So yeah, um, this particular area definitely, uh, you have to pay very careful attention to what both of the NPCs are doing to be able to know like the right times to do whatever it is you want to do. And you have to know the right way to approach them too. There we go. Washing's done. Bust is done. So now Roger's going to take care of that. Perfect. So in spite of some bad luck with the first clip, uh, we're still pretty good here.
We're going to go ahead and lure Tina all the way up here to this lovely purple wall. Lavender, whatever shade it is. And then we wait. And wait. And... Lovely drawing. Now we leave. The ribbon is alive. Yes, thank you for the clip, Phil. Go ahead and put that in the, the memes Discord channel, too. Alright, so we're done now with uh, Back Gardens and actually saved a little time? And just lost what little time I saved. It's okay. Wound up slightly ahead of schedule there, which is cool. All right, cool. So in spite of uh, bad luck at the beginning, that was a pretty good back gardens, all things considered. All right, so we threw the bottle in the canal. That won't matter at all. Now we got our pacifier. Box ladies there, which is good. I'm gonna sneak inside here. Bye. So that's Vinny. He's the publican's husband. And we're gonna... Hunk. And now we're gonna sneak out with this pub glass here, if I can get it. Perfect. Now, unlike my last run, I'm not going to drop this first glass up against the wall and break it. We're going to drop it over here, and it'll narrowly miss the milk bottle and not break. Now that she's all the way away from her lovely tables and Vinny's not guarding the gate, I've got free reign of the place. So it's time to do a little redecorating. This is probably my favorite little area of the game. It's definitely one of my favorite... Um, zones in the game to speedrun. There's a lot of fun uh, cycles to play with. But we gotta set the table. In spite of all the naughty things the goose does, um, we do do a, a few nice things for people like, you know, throwing a picnic and doing the laundry and going shopping for someone. We're gonna set the table, help the uh, publican out here a little bit. You get a nice little tiny clip right there. It's cute, it's small, it's easy. And we're gonna keep this boat for later. And now we'll start setting the table while waiting for the right opportunity for harmonica cycle for the old man. He just finished it, so we've got time to grab maybe two items and put them on the table. Hopefully I can get it just in time. Uh-oh. It's going to be tight. Okay, nope, we're good. we got plenty of time. If he ignores me. So we're going to make the old man fall on his bum. Take his hat. And we'll put it over here and save it for later. In the meantime, the publican's going to take a little time to come over and see if she can find a way to keep the goose from coming back into her pub messing up the place so and that doesn't quite count but we'll fix that there we go yeah I know there was a goose in here all along who to thunk it all right so now that we got the table set and everything else is done Let's get Vinny. Wait patiently. And good. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Good. He grabbed the tomato. Lovely helmet. A little hard to see out of, though. Split. 
Poor Vinny. Well, I think it's time we leave this pub. Hey, thanks, Phil. I appreciate that. So now we're going to sail our little boat under the bridge here. Steal this little kid figurine here. Which we'll use to get a little boost and over the fence there. Go through modelception. And geese can actually fly if you uh, happen to have the right tools to help you fly. So we're going to snag that bell and make our way back home. Now normally, when you steal the bell, you have to backtrack all the way back through the pub, through the back gardens, through the high street, through the garden, and all the way home. But that's really slow, so we just go through this gate and then leave. The only category where we actually like bring the bell back the normal way is any percent glitchless, which is a lot shorter than this. The bell makes a ton of noise. All right. Very good take, Bell. Nine seconds off uh, world record pace, which is pretty good. Although we're losing some of it now by not uh, skipping the credits here. All right. So now we're going to go into the post game. And in the post game, we need to... Uh, finish off all the hidden tasks. So all the main tasks are now done. I've done every single one of them. I've done the speed run tasks. It's just the hidden tasks. And the longest one is probably going to be um, collecting each of the five flowers that are found in each of the five areas. So we're going to start with this lovely chrysanthemum here and make our way over to a basket in the middle of the, uh, the town and start collecting flowers. So there's a lot of back and forth in this portion, a lot of backtracking. So this is a good opportunity for things like donations. We're gonna do a quick little clip here and then just some more uh, gathering. Almost. There we go. I've gotten that as fast as one attempt. And sometimes it's taken me over a minute to get that clip. So all I can do is focus and be patient and hope it goes well. But thankfully, none of the stuff I'm doing now are going to require any resets. And most of it's not going to be major time losses if it goes wrong. It's just going to be lots of little ones. So you grab the tulip, no issues there. Sometimes Willie gets in the way, but he's usually not much of a problem. So now we're going to revisit the pub and pick up some of the items we left behind during the run earlier. Unfortunately, Willie's back. That's a little weird. A little bit unlucky, but not too bad. After all, he's still pretty easy to trick. A little strange that he's tying his shoes first before I leave, but that's okay. He's not going to stop me uh, from stealing this hat because it's not his. Oh, right. Here I am being dumb again. I keep forgetting that I need to... It's not the flower, it's the box. And so I, I always get mixed up between those two things. Unfortunately, the box lady's back, so we're going to have to take this box around the long way. But that's okay. This way is just a tiny, tiny bit faster. There we go. Walking the box down the stairs is probably one of the hardest things to do 
in the game and making sure we don't flip it over. There we go. So now we got the pacifier, we got the hat. So we're gonna go ahead and walk this box, pacifier and hat, all the way over to Bat Gardens to take care of a couple of extra tasks. So this is another great opportunity during the run to take a break, grab some water, tip the box over while pulling it past the bush like an idiot. So other than knocking over on the bush there, take a selfie, free donations, things like that. Because all we're doing is just dragging this down two long, narrow alleyways. Which isn't particularly difficult or interesting. So I gotta give props to Aquana for uh, the tutorial that I followed to do this. Um, in the first place, it's what I based the route off of. Um, added my own little variations to it. What a lovely box. It would be very nice to actually get this to come through the, uh, the fence here. Although I don't think I'm gonna have any luck with that. No, it just doesn't want to do it. So that is unfortunate, but it's okay. Have no fear, we will get the box through here one way or another. Somehow. Sometimes you just get that perfect landing like plank that ruins everything. And sometimes you just fling the box and throw the pacifier out for no reason. Yeah, you know let's just throw everything out. Forget it. There. Box is empty, but we still got to get the other items because Roger needs them. We're going to need to have him throw them over the fence. And we're going to have to catch them as well. So... All right, so he's gonna see the box. He's gonna come back for the hat and the pacifier in a minute if he saw them, I hope he saw him. Then we get thrown over the fence, which is nice. Oops, I meant to grab the box and not that. Oh well, that's gonna waste time. Apparently he ignored it. Weird, yoink. All right, so now we're gonna decorate the bust with items from outside of the back gardens. Normally, this would be easy to do uh, during the run if we didn't have to worry about the church bells, but unfortunately, um, because the, the church bells are a, a problem, we have to reset between each stage. And when that happens, all the items get reset too, which makes it pretty much impossible to collect all three uh, external items that we need quickly. She saw me. Well, that's not good. So we'll switch that up here. Back up strats. And her short-term memory is just not there. To reward her for dressing me up, we do a more, a little bit more, uh, re, uh, re, uh, a little bit more landscaping on that squirrel, and pilfer a sock. So we use the sock clip to get over here quickly to the rose, and while we're at it, also avoiding Roger, so I don't have to worry about losing my ribbon, which I'm going to need in a minute here. Yoink. Come on. There we go. Easy peasy. So this makes three flowers. I'm gonna make our way back to the pub and grab a fourth flower while also giving an encore performance. Yeah, 
fox lady. I have to wait for her. Oh, Vinny. Now you had to go and make it hard for me. Okay. So normally, when you stand on this little platform, they tell you what to do, and it's always the same thing, honk, duck, flap, um, but you have to wait for him to tell you that, you know, casually, but it's not that hard to do. Oh, perfect crime. I managed to give a full performance, get awarded a flower, and sneak out before Vinny could tie his shoes. And he's had lots of practice tying his shoes this run. All right, so we're coming up on kind of the, the tail end of the run now. Um, there's just a few more little pieces. We need to grab the fifth flower. We need to finish dressing up the bust. And then we need to play some soccer. All right, move it, nerd. Some more backtracking here. And all we're doing is gathering the fifth item, but this also doubles to get the shopkeeper out of our way for when we go back to steal one last item. There we go, there's all five flowers. So now we're going to run back to the shop and do just a little bit of soccer on the way. We have a very multi-talented goose here that can not only play soccer, but can also uh, carry a pair of stylish glasses the whole time. I think today I'll opt for the red frames. Get away, nerd. nerd. My ball. My ball. There is uh, one particularly nervous moment in the run here that I always have to pay careful attention to, and that is making sure that the soccer ball stays away from the right edge of the, the hallway here while I'm carrying glasses. Uh, if I rub against the wall while pushing the soccer ball and holding glasses, a weird clip will happen that will cause the camera to freak out and green screen and pretty much uh, lose all the progress I made on the bust. Um, the backup for it I haven't tried yet, but I have a pretty good idea of what it would be. Uh, which would be, I'd have to basically, wow, what a good kick. That was lucky. Um, the backup would be to go and uh, retrieve the glasses and toothbrush from the uh, high street and carry it in the basket, the shopping basket, kind of like the box. And also get the uh, hairbrush actually would work well. I wouldn't have to waste any time with that. So yeah, I could put all three items in a basket. Glasses, hairbrush, um, toothbrush, and, you know, drag them along. Or something that extends. Oh, creepy box. What is with things being possessed and sliding around in this run? Anyway, so the last goal here, fairly straightforward. We just need to play a little soccer and score a goal. Goal! All right, so that's the last objective. Once we get the message at the top there, congratulations, a reward is waiting for you at home. We can make our way back home down the canal, which is a nice quick way of moving. Do a little victory flap, read a few last bits of donations. And the run ends as soon as we grab the crown, take it all the way to an NPC, and he places it upon our head.
So here we are. Yeet. There we go. Yeah, I, I think you're right, Steve. Uh, uh, I think the, the, the proper estimate is somewhere in the 40 minute range. Um, I, I had a three minute time loss earlier that I was able to turn around and still get like 38 or sub 38. Um, so with some really good luck, you know, you can get under 34 minutes some of best is under 33 but if i just keep doing no resets it'll pretty typically wind up being about you know 35 to 40 minutes um. and that's time 35 53 the fastest one i've done by far tonight um you know, still not a world record, but that's okay. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, Untitled Goose Game. I usually like to celebrate the end of my runs by uh, picking on the wimp one last time. Because after all, we are the king. And the king's subjects should bow down. And what better place to bow down then inside a puddle. Bow before me. Bow down. Bow, I say. Anyway, so that's Untitled Goose Game 100%. Hope you guys liked it. Um, you know, um, otherwise, uh, hope the marathon goes well, and I'll see you guys at HGDQ. So... Thanks.